Okay, uh, now that we've had a look at the, the themes uh, for Gladiator, uh, let's make a new score. We're going to compose a couple of motifs and we're going to use the uh, device of sequence. Uh, what a sequence. So we learn a bit more by actually doing it. Okay, so we'll call it two motifs. And at the top, we're going to write a scale. And I'm going to suggest maybe, say, a Dorian mode scale. Let's just remember that. And what we do is, let's make it a, a minimum. And we can just use our computer keyboard to type. We started with the D, and if we just go E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Okay, and then we're going to just click here, and we're going to add 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, and we're going to put our two motifs here. Now, if I click on that bar there, and I've got my scale up here, and I'm also going to put a double bar line there. While it's lit up, I just clicked on that and I put a double bar line there. And that's just to remind us of the notes that we're going to use. Now, first of all, my first motif. I'm just going to come up with, say, about two bars of, uh, and I'm going to start from this high D. So, you know, you can copy my ideas if you like, but, um, uh, and there's actually the third motif I didn't talk about in the uh, Gladiator theme, in the Now We Are Free. There's a Okay, that's one. I oh, sorry, didn't notate that. Um, that's like a third theme. And I'm thinking of, now that's a very triumphant kind of a thing too, but so I'm going to make one theme where I'm thinking in the terms of this gladiator idea that they're kind of oppressed. Uh, you could apply this in, in other films too. Like, So I'm going to make the rhythm fairly slow. And I'm going to make this a dotted rhythm to, for a bit of interest. So that's a dotted crotchet. Okay. And I'm going to experiment with that. There's two bars there. Okay, that's a bit ricky tick. It's a little bit kind of... Uh, I like that bit there, but I need to do something more here. Nothing wrong with, let's go edit, nothing wrong with staying on the same note there, okay, because I don't want to come down too fast. Um, get rid of that one and put my cursor here. I'm going to try a different kind of a sort of a, a rhythm here. And a, yeah, that's a bit more like a, a theme I could live with. Okay, so for our first theme, now, here's all you need to do for a sequence. Okay, I want it descending because, like, these people are kind of oppressed, okay? The gladiators have been kept locked up. They're living a hard life. So I'm going to copy that in there. And sometimes coming up with a good theme, I'm going to take it down two steps, and let's see what that is. Now, this is sequence where we have a short, I'll just click over here. We've got a short sort of a uh, two-bar riff here. And we take that exact same pitch and we paste and copy it over here. And let's see if we like it down two steps. And there's one motif written. So there's my D Dorian scale there at the top. If you went A to A, that would be an Aeolian scale or natural minor scale. Okay, so it's minor sounding. Just to experiment, let's see what would happen. You choose a, a hold shift. I, I like that up. What if we took that down? That's a perfect fourth. Mm, okay, and then I've got a descending minor third here. Okay, but this it's still a sequence. It's exact same rhythmic pattern, so melodic pattern. I like that better. It's quite a big jump. Um, okay, and uh, I'm still not quite happy. Uh, let's see what happens if we take it down one more step. Yeah, that's going to have a bit of a brighter ending because instead of being a minor third, F to D, that's finishing on a major third, E to C. Let's see what that's like. Okay, so let's see what that sounds like. Now, uh, go edit, and I'm going to compose my second bit. Um... And I might even use the, that same device of sequence 
in this one, but this is a bit more upbeat. So I'm going to, um, um, I'm starting on the low D. So it's a Dorian scale. I'm using the white notes of the piano from the D to D kind of a pattern. And I'm going to toss in um, a few quavers uh, and then take a bang to E. Um, and uh, I want a dotted, I've got this tune in my head, you see. I don't just stick notes in note flight when I'm composing. Um, I've got this, I'm thinking it, I'm singing it in my head. Oh, I don't want that dotted. Um, okay. So, I've got this motif here. Oh, yeah, okay, that's what was kind of in my head. <clears throat> and, now, this is only a little bit of it. We're going to develop our motif. So, make sure you write some good ones. Okay, I've copied that in. And, I'm going to put that up too. Okay. Okay, and you see how um, it, it sort of complements it. It's, it's like an answer, answering phrase. And again, I'm using that device. You don't have to use sequence again twice, but I'm using it twice to really show you that I've got this pattern, which I copied. <clears throat> and then I copied and pasted that, and I moved it up two steps <clears throat> to, to give me that feel that I want. Okay, so that's uh, what I expect to see at the end of today's lesson is Write down the scale that you've chosen to use. You can use the Dorian scale if you like, or if you went A to A, or C to C, if you think it's all pretty sort of happy. Um, or you can even use two different scales. You can use one scale for the first uh, motif, okay, and the uh, another scale for the second motif. So you might go minor to major to give it that more uplifting feel, okay? Have fun with that.